Question 13. Have a read and come up with your answer and compare it to mine. Now, we are told that EC $2.50 is equivalent to US $1, which is about right. Every US dollar is about $2.50 EC. So, we want to see how much US dollars we can get out of 20 EC dollars. Okay, so first of all, we can do, use several methods, right? We have the EC $20, and we want to see how much US dollar that is. So US dollars is what we're trying to get. So we take the 20, and the rate is 250, 2050 cents. Are we going to multiply by 20 to get the US amount, or are we going to divide? Now, obviously, we should actually get less US, less than $20 US, because the US will be less in, than the EC. If you look at the rate, one is less than 250, which means that the US is stronger. Okay, it takes less US to give you more EC. So if we have EC $20, EC $20, we're going to get less than 20 US. So we want to divide to get that amount. So how do we do that? We can say 20 divided by $2.50. And we want to work with a denominator that's a whole number. So we can say, okay, you know what? Why not multiply by 10? And that will move the point one place to the right. So that will give us 25. If you multiply the denominator by 10, you got to do the same thing to the numerator to make it equivalent. That's going to be 200. If you move the point one place to the right, so you have 20, move one place to the right, that's 200. And this should be easy for us to see that 25 goes into 208 times. If not, what we can do, we can take this to a familiar number. We can say, okay, all right, let's multiply by 4 because we know 4 times 25 is 100. 4 25 is 100. Okay? Think about it, you have 25 cents. I want a dollar, like 100 cents. It takes 4 25 cents to give you a dollar or 100 cents. Okay, so we multiply by 4 as well since we did that to the denominator and we get 800 then we say 100 into itself goes once and into 800 goes eight times as easy as that another way we could actually do this let me show you a different method quickly so no our answer is that but here's the other method we could say okay well ec um, 250 gives us the us equivalent us equivalent of one dollar all right, so if we just keep on adding 250s in US, we get a dollar each for those. And this seems very long, but quite a simple method. And if you look at it, this is going to give us what? $5, another $5. How much we have? So that's 10 we have so far. Okay, 250 again, 250 again. That's another $5. And if you do it again twice, that's another five dollars. So we have five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty EC, and of course we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh yes, the final one, eight. So it's gonna be eight US.